Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Saturday, December 31st, right before New Year's, the last Saturday of the year, Kilauea. We have a seismic swarm back at Kilauea, back on Hawaii. We also have some activity up at Mauna Kea with quite a significant rumbler at 2.1 hitting that now dormant volcano. But the big story, Happy New Year. Heavy rain in California causes flooding but offers a respite from the drought. Keep calm, it's boom time and the mainstream media is actually saying respite from the drought. Flooding prompts closures of major Bay Area highway and evacuation warnings in Northern California. This just being released. A few people having to be rescued in their cars because they just don't know when it's a little too deep to be driving in. A rainstorm causes flash flooding in San Carlos. U.S. Highway 101, one of California's most famous routes, is closed in both directions in San Francisco Saturday as heavy pre precipitation and snowmelt are flooding roads, especially in the northern half of the state. California Department of Transportation also advised of partial closure of Interstate 80 near Nevada Line mid-Saturday. So a lot going on. And we have three more waves of moisture coming to southern and central California over the next week. 2023 to kick off with another snowstorm for the northern plains as well as large hail and isolated tornadoes are possible Monday for East Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus, and severe weather is possible across Alabama next week. There is the region to keep your eye out on. Now here's the forecast. Winter storm to impact the plains, severe weather potential for the south. As we begin 2023, a strong Pacific system will bring heavy mountain snow, winds, and lower elevation wintery mix for the west. This storm further develops for the plains as a winter storm unfolds Monday. In addition, threat of flash flooding and severe thunderstorms extend from the southern plains to the lower Mississippi Valley. And for the east coast, it will be tranquil and above normal. So soak it in while you can. This is the system that is, oh no it isn't, let me back this up. This is the system that is pummeling with all that flooding and it is going to continue and drop down over the next 12 to 24 hours, bringing hours of powers and heavy snow to Nevada, Tahoe, and all of the Sierras. Then it's going to move into Idaho, Wyoming in the Four Corners region, hard Monday morning, Sunday night, and then that storm in the Midwest develops. And we could see some severe weather here kicking up as early as Tuesday. That will be your lose day. Here is your Tuesday heavy storms. Could be some tornado activity lightning, hail, and on the back end, we have that winter storm that's going to rapidly move through the northern plains. Let's take a look at the snowfall totals for the first few days of 2023. Here's January 1st. There's the snow up to four feet in the central mountains. New Year's Day, hey, hey, snow in northern Idaho or northern Utah. Holy mackerel, we got to turn that off. And then the snow is going to move into my region here, the Four Corners region, heavy Sunday into Monday. And there's your fun day, Monday, Tuesday, as that st storm moves through the northern plains, 16 inches expected in central Minnesota. Say it ain't soda. Yes, south central Minnesota going to be picking up the heaviest totals as well as South Dakota and the tippy touch of Wisconsin. Let's move this through just for some giggles. And you can see more system after system adding to the snow totals in the west. And this model is looking like the best. Ooh, a little pop up there, ne Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus, and maybe a system moving through the northeast here. The sixth, fifth and sixth, seventh, eighth, and that is way out on the models. But let's take a look at the seismic map. We have two areas of concern. We've got the Fisher zone here, and this is the Halina slump region. And then we've got a swarm right here on the caldera of Kilauea. Could be magma being emplaced. And we also have some activity at Mauna Kea. So quite interesting sequence of events happening in Hawaii. A worldwide very moderate activity. All in the very low range. Nothing significant or of note. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Shivalush to 15,000. Popo to 20. And we've got Merapi, Reventador, and Kilauea. Let's see what they have to say about the Kilauea. Here we have an interesting little hornito on the southern pit crater in Ertaale. 
pretty interesting. Kilauea seismic swarm, exactly what we just covered. Good news. Merapi field report. Heavy rains have triggered several rockfall events, so heads up if you're camping on the flank of that volcano. Space weather news update. Nothing much happening on the sun. We do have some sunspot activity, and this is the new region that has turned to view us after it shot off a few M flares on the other side of the limb. Nothing is happening currently. All activity below sea level, even though we had a C flare here in the C9 range, nothing significant. Now let's take a look at some of the solar wind models. So we, here we are over at ISWA Solar Wind Predictor, and it is showing a coronal mass ejection that could be affecting Earth sometime on the 4th. So I went over and checked the WSA Enlil Solar Wind Spiral. They are, after crunching more detailed numbers, showing a very tiny coronal mass ejection that could be headed right towards our green marble. And the impact there is here we are in the third, and there's the fourth. Boom. So we could see a little spike in geomagnetic activity coming up here on the fourth as both solar wind predictions are showing a coronal mass ejection, obviously coming from one of these flares. So let's see what they have to say here. The event does not appear to be eruptive in nature, but I guess they missed it on the M3.7 solar flare. That's the one right here that was coming from center disk. So that's the one that's sending this coronal mass ejection towards us. And so we should keep a close eye on what's happening on the 4th, as this is a good test of our waning magnetosphere. Now, you should all come over to Oppenheimer Ranch Project, at Diamond the Dave on Twitter. If you're not on Twitter, you should get on Twitter. This is where the cutting-edge news and the sharing of information is happening. And we share some amazing stuff, including epic satellite imagery of the current atmospheric river inundating California. Look at that. Fantastic. Thank you, Colin McCarthy. We also are going to show you, share you a little bit about fireballs, but here is what I really want to bring your attention to. Waiting on official confirmation, which is coming in in just a few hours, still 5.30 p.m. Uh, in California. And look at the, the totals for December. Amazing. As of this morning, 125 inches were measured at the Central Sierra Snow Lab at 6,894 feet in elevation near Donner Summit. For December, which is 179% of the 53-year average, which you can see in blue. Record-breaking Sierra snowpack in effect, folks. And that could be mean record flooding, which we're already seeing, but I'm talking about in the spring, ding, ding. So we have several more months and huge volumes of snow that is going to be coming to the west. <laughs> so heads up. And here we see this total snow mass for the northern hemisphere has been breaking records for three years now has been above the 30-year average for three years. And the mainstream, well, they're just not reporting on it. But we are. And here is fireball and bolide data. Very hard to get, but we're going to share it with you. This chart shows reported fireball events for which geographic locations are provided and the equivalent in megatonnage. And that would be how big of a boom that they impart. So pretty cool stuff here. And... You can change some of the specifications. Just look at the 100 kiloton plus, 10 kiloton plus events. And these are bolides that are blowing up over the surface of the earth since 1988. That's it. There are hundreds of them, including that amazing event 2013 in Siberia, Chablinsk, which was coming in at over 440 kilotons. But there are other major bolides that are blowing up over the ocean and all over the world, and we're just waiting for a large object to potentially hit an ocean and create a mega tsunami and the next natural disaster. Talking about natural disasters, if you haven't seen the latest video update on magnetic reversal news, Comet Enki, Tunguska, the Alaskan muck solar outbursts and super flares, all related to the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis, check it out. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance, and happy new year. We love each and every one of you. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do in the new year. Be a hero and share this video. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. Yeah.